In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to create indicators with EA Builder. Let's create a simple show me study based on the stochastic oscillator. This example can act as a starting point for creating your own indicators, show me, or paint bar studies. Let's attach the stochastic slow indicator to the chart. You can see a blue line and a red line oscillating between the market extremes. The blue line is the so-called baseline, or K-line, and the red line is the signal line, or D-line. When the K-line crosses the D-line, we want to display a dot to buy or sell. So let's do it. Create a new trade station show me. Call it Extreme Turns. Add condition. Stochastic slow K crosses above stochastic slow D. OK. Now click on this icon to customize display style. The color is blue. The label will be extreme turn. And the dot will be drawn at the candlestick low. We leave it as it is. Click OK. Now let's create the red dot for cell. Click on the new indicator buffer, where you'll find a smart button to do the job for you. Create the opposite. The condition changes to crosses below, the dot is red, and it will be drawn at candlestick high instead of low. We are happy with what we see, so we can move on. In the alerts tab, we check audible alerts so that we hear a sound and see a pop-up message every time a new dot appears. In Inputs, we add Audible Alerts, so that we can turn it on and off. In the Source tab, the source is generated very quickly. The code is human-readable and well-commented. It does not include any extra files or advanced object programming, so it can be a useful study aid, but you don't need to understand it. I will copy the source, Open Easy Language. Create New. Show Me. Give it a name. OK. Control A to select all. Control V to paste. Verify it. It was successful with no errors. Go back to the trade station. Insert Analysis Technique, Show Me tab, and our new files appear here. We see it has one input set to True. But we have to enable alerts here as well. Alert once per bar. Here you can change its style and so on. OK. We can check that the dots are drawn correctly as the oscillator lines cross. The problem is that the dots overlap the price a little, and we would like to correct this. Go back to EA Builder. Click on the plus sign to extend condition and lower the value of the candlestick low to move the dot lower. Maybe 100 points lower. But to make it universal for all currency pairs and time frames, we will subtract the indicator average true range. Click on the magic icon and the rest is done quickly. The red dot will be drawn at candlestick high, plus the average true range. Copy the source, paste, Verify. And now it looks better. But we see too many arrows when the market is in this flat area. We will make additional conditions to display arrows only at the extremes, beyond the overbought and oversold levels that are represented by the horizontal lines at values 20 and 80. Go back to the Indicator tab. Add Condition. Stochastic Slow K is below value 20. 
Create the opposite using the magic button. Edit the automatically created condition and replace 20 with 80. Copy the source, paste, verify. Now we see the dots only in the overbought and oversold zones. There is still room for improvement. In a trending market, you may want to beware of trading against a long-term trend. You can use the trend indicator from our free bonuses to clearly see the trend. And for exiting, you can use your own rule based on the number of pips or the colored CCI indicator. In the next videos in this tutorial, I will show you step by step how to create a profitable expert advisor based on daily breakouts and other useful expert advisors. I will start with a simple strategy based on moving averages.